Hi, my name's Kate Ward and I work and own Louise the Florist in Scarborough, North Yorkshire. Today I'm going to show you how to make a festive door wreath. What you'll need to make your festive door wreath is an oasis ring, normally 14 inch or 16 inch in size, soaked with water and then various different foliages, winter foliages, um, ivy is really good because it has berries on it, holly of obvious and cypressus and some lovely blue pine which will give you all different textures into the wreaths and we've got some small crab apple berries here apples that would um, add texture to it and some twigs as well again to add texture to the wreath and give it a more interesting finish once you've finished your design. So to start making your uh, festive door wreath you need a collection of winter foliage clipped up into small sections this sort of size just to make it easier for you when you actually start to make the wreath. You need to cut the foliage on an angle with a knife rather than scissors because that makes the foliage hold into the oasis much tighter and obviously if the door wreath is going outside that helps it stay in position. So just to start to make the wreath you need to put an edge of foliage round the outside of the ring first and then we go to fill in the centre of the wreath last but first of all a really nice thick edging of foliage. It's quite a random design. The more varieties of foliage you have, the better the wreath will look at the end of the design. Um, you can stick to one foliage and some people do stick to maybe ivy and things like that or blue pine. It's quite a popular foliage just to do one wreath of one foliage but then it would just be one foliage rather than two or three. You need maybe four or five different varieties of foliage. You can get them from good florists or you can go into the forestry if you wish to collect um, foliage. Um, you have to be very careful where you're cutting the foliage from obviously um, but if you get out into the forestry and you're cutting things like ivy and pine and things like that which would grow again next year um, that would be fine. I wouldn't pick anything that was things like moss that's protected or lichen or anything like that that is protected um, by the national parks especially as we're in North Yorkshire we'll be in the middle of a national park so I'd maybe ring the Forestry Commission and ask permission if you can go and cut some foliage and normally they're pretty obliging they would uh, accept you taking some foliage. As you can see the wreath is starting to build up around this edge and you continue round until you've got a really nice thick edge around that edge of that wreath. This is the beautiful blue spruce. It smells fantastic and it's lovely to touch and it's a totally different texture to the ivy and the uh, cypresses that's already in the wreath and um, I always think that it's a really nice um, thing to have a scented wreath as well as um, a decorative wreath on the front door to welcome people for Christmas. You've finished your wreath and it should look something similar to this with your foliage um, on the wreath um, and mainly covering all of the wreath so that you can't see any of the oasis underneath. The next step is to attach some twine. Now this is floristry twine that has a wire through it and paper around it so it's really strong. It's ideal for hanging the wreath. You don't want to rely on the ribbon, the decorative ribbon, because it can snap quite easily. So the best thing to do is, again, is to put the twine underneath and to tie it onto the wreath. Like so. So this leaves you a long tie to attach to your front door. The next thing is to add all the little bits and things that you've got to decorate your wreath with. You could use baubles as well as cinnamon sticks, herbs, uh, raffia, bows anything like that, whatever you like that, or whichever colour you would like. I really like to use natural things in the wreath and nothing too artificial. These have been mounted onto um, floristry wire so that secures them into the wreath and keeps them there. Again, the little crab apples, um, if you just pop a wire into there, come off and just make a little tiny little hairpin hook 
And again, when that goes into the oasis, that'll secure them into the reef. This again is a smooth texture against the busyness of the foliage. It's really good to see and um, it's easy on the eye. You could always add, um, I've used uh, chilli peppers before. Um, the colour's really good, the reds of the chilli peppers look lovely and they dry in the wreath. So that's uh, um, another thing to use. that slightly so you can see into the wreath there the twigs are in there and the um, crab apples are secured into the wreath next I'm going to make a ribbon to sit on the top of the wreath I'm going to use two lots of ribbons this is a really nice um, organza see-through ribbon but it has um, wire into the edge of the ribbon so that helps hold the bow I just want the trail of this to come across and down and at the top of the wreath I've got another type of uh, florist ribbon. Again it's got wire inserted either side so that helps with the bow and it's a short taffeta ribbon. So to make the bow you hold the finger and thumb, nip the ribbon together and make a loop. this off so you have one loop and one trail. Start again. Okay and then we can um, add the organza under there. This starts to make it look very, very Christmassy and festive. Okay, to wire round the ribbon and then just twist the wire. Cut the excess off. it right into the wreath so it's secure and it's not going to fall out and there is nearly finished you can have trails or if you don't want to have trails of ribbon you can leave those off and you could cut them off short and just put a, a bow at the top of the wreath and then just so we can bring this red and rusty colour through the wreath I'm going to add some small berries if you're lucky enough that you can get some um, variegated um, holly or some green holly that has berries in there, that will do the job for you as well. And then um, the most beautiful um, Naomi roses. And there's another bit of luxury just at the bottom of the wreath, just to bring that colour around. Okay, so this is um, the finished article. Um, the ribbon is secure in there and it gives it a lovely, luxurious feel to the wreath. Um, the berries and then down to um, the Naomi rose at the bottom make your eye move across the wreath because the colours disperse right around the wreath and the red brings a richness to the wreath and makes it feel extra special and Christmassy.